I got federal agents sitting in front of my house. Six cars. It's, it's beyond us. It's nothing I could do. Takashi 69 he was arrested and indicted on six federal charges with a max sentence of life in prison. I can't believe this is actually happening. Now we found video footage of a lawyer who witnessed 6ix9ine offer up $1.7 million for bail, but he was denied. He was then placed in the general population. Very scary stuff, especially for a guy with rainbow colored hair. Uh, I'm honestly praying for the best for this man. It's a really scary time. Dottie was in there and Shadi was getting arraigned and they discussed how much he had in his account and they put it out there that he has 60,000 in his account, 6ix9ine's accounts uh, had 1.7 million. His lawyer offered to put every penny up and bail still got denied. Instagram down and Facebook down. This is trending online. Lil Nar, he got locked up and he's blaming DJ Academics for the reason why. Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they both opted for a huge change in formats and people are freaking out about this new iPhone cursor trick. All this and more in just a second. I'm in the hospital. Oh, he's you so much the same location. I'm number one. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden and welcome back to Famous News. This is episode five. Now we missed yesterday, we're sorry about that. We had some members of the team who were out with the cold. It gets real chilly here in Toronto. I also got some new wardrobe and it fits. I'm feeling good. Uh, we're gonna be back for the rest of the week and I'm also gonna do something special on Friday. I'm gonna go live. I, you know, I have a bunch of subscribers, a lot of you guys tune in, but I don't know you that well. So I'm looking forward to doing something different. We'll set it up like this. I'm gonna speak with you guys at 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday, November the 23rd. So be sure to set that in your calendar or hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss it. All right, we got lots to talk about starting off with Takashi 69 Here we go. I fear God. Mm -hmm. And I fear the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Only two things I'm scared of in life. All right, so when Takashi paid a visit to the Breakfast Club last Friday, there was clearly a few things on his mind that he needed to discuss. Now, we know that the feds, they've been keeping a close eye on him and his crew. You got to imagine that's playing havoc on his head, especially if he's guilty of some stuff. Now, over the weekend, the story had evolved. It started out with the feds. They were offering Takashi protection, and then they arrested him on Sunday night. 6 9 Shadi and three others from their crew, they were all arrested on racketeering and firearm charges. And these arrests, they were reportedly a part of a joint investigation. We're talking the NYPD, Homeland Security, and the Justice Department of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Remember kids, it isn't just your friends who are tuning into your Instagram Live. Anyone can be watching. Now these five men, they've also been accused of being in the nine trade gangsta bloods, something both 6 9 and Shoddy, they've been trying to distance themselves in recent interviews, postings, and on IG Live. They're both like, yeah, it's just a word. Apparently it's not. Can I say it? Yes. Yeah. Treyway is not even a thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Treyway, I created that. That's my shit. I thought he was a person. No. Officials claimed that Nine Trey, they had committed multiple shootings, robberies, and assaults against rival gangs. Six Nine's apartment, it was also raided, and they found him in possession of an AR-19 pistol. There was also video footage of him committing crimes. I'm talking robberies. And, uh, and then there was that shooting at Barclay Center. So, you know, the evidence was mounting. On two of the six counts, 6 9 is facing a maximum penalty of life in prison. Now, during a hearing earlier today, a lawyer witnessed the proceedings where Takashi's lawyer offered up everything he had in his bank account to a sum of $1.7 million. And then when the judge uh, started talking, he was listening very closely. And, and then I just saw the look on his face when the judge denied bail, man. He was... He was heartbroken. At the time of this recording, we just got breaking news that 6 9 has been placed in general population at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. That means he's not in like a segregated part of the prison. They've mixed him in with everyone. And that's gotta be awfully scary because in prison, you know, someone will go after you just for that clout. Uh, our hearts go out to Takashi. This is uh, absolutely awful stuff. Now in similar news, uh, there's another rapper who's got himself in trouble with the law. We're talking about Lil Nar and his team they took to his Instagram account where they posted, Nar is currently being held and questioned for unknown charges, stemming from the false accusations. His brand Narcotic distributes weapons online, which is 100% false. So the website they're talking about, I got a feeling, well I know, it's DJ Academics' page. He made a reference about Lil Nar being a local terrorist and being in possession of a rocket launcher. I think he was just poking fun. And the man does own a rocket launcher. Regardless, it's got him in a lot of trouble. 
His management, they hope to have this cleared up quickly. He's also got um, like a new line of merch that he's promoting and that should have been dropping, but he's in prison. So I'm sure that'll happen soon. Now, another rapper getting in some hot water is Sheck Wes. He's been dealing with rumors that, uh, well, he abused singer Justine Sky. The comments she made, they were subliminal, but everyone's talking that it must have been her past relationship with Sheck. Uh, that's a tough part about dating in Hollywood. Everyone's getting in your business. I hope uh, these are false allegations. Moving on to some men who know a lot about dating in Hollywood. Well, we got Jake Paul and Logan Paul. And these boys, they've opted for a huge change in their formats. Following the success Jake Paul found with his collab working with Shane Dawson, well, he decided to adopt the behind the scenes approach for himself. He also dropped an epic trailer for what's to come. Ooh, found it riveting. You guys aren't gonna make any videos about your experiences here, right? I'm not handling this. Break up. Good. And Logan Paul released the first episode of his podcast, Impulsive. Impulsive? Impulsive. Uh, he's putting this up on a brand new channel, which I was surprised to see. Take a look. Uh, right now, we're going to do three podcasts a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. It's crazy to be looking at Logan Paul and seeing 200,000 subs, 200,000 views, but I'm sure that'll all change quite quickly. He's a very talented kid. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Now people are freaking out about this iPhone three year old cursor trick. Did you see this online? Some girl, she put out a tweet. Her name's Chrissy Briere Davis. And uh, well, it caught a lot of people's attention. 52,000 retweets and over 100,000 likes. Everyone's freaking out that you can just hold the space bar so you can move the cursor around instead of trying to drag the cursor yourself with your big fat thumb. I never knew this. My mind is blown. And that mind blown emoji has never been more useful or accurate. This is, uh, it's truly revolutionary. Okay, let's move on to what's trending. We're gonna kick things off with what's going on on YouTube. We got a huge announcement that on December 12th, Deadpool 2, he'll be back in theaters with zero Fs give it. And this is a PG-13 special titled Once Upon a Deadpool. So far, it's already gotten 8.3 million views. Take a look. Why am I here? You're in a PG-13 version of Deadpool. Filtered? through the prism of childlike innocence. I'm a grown And nobody man. does childlike innocence like you, Fred, nobody. Now, if you got no idea who that man is that's in this trailer, that's Fred Savage. He was a child actor. He was famous for The Wonder Years, great show. He was also in The Princess Bride. And uh, I guess they're gonna be like recreating parts of that movie for this. Speaking with Deadline, well, Ryan Reynolds, he had this to say. Fox has been asking for a PG-13 basically since the start in 2006. I've said no since 2006. Now this one time I said yes on two conditions. First, a portion of the proceeds had to go to charity. Second, I wanted to kidnap Fred Savage. The second condition took some explaining. Smosh, they took the number two spot with every Harry Potter ever in your face to find media. Potter, Lucius, it w Wait, what are you doing? Why do you have that sandwich in your hand? The YouTube channel Jubilee, they got like 1.2 million subs. They decided to hold an experiment, basically recreating a dating app in real life. And uh, they look like this, which to me is a little awkward. Right, it's kind of got that human centipede vibe, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, there was 30 girls and this man, he swiped right on six of them and then he sat down for some speed dating. It was actually really interesting to see some online dating reenacted in the real world. Now, uh, I'm giving this video a thumbs up. I really enjoyed it and uh, it really proved my point that I think online dating's weird. I've never really been into it. Uh, I don't like meeting up with strangers. You never know what they're gonna wanna do. Hello. Yeah? I'm here for the gangbang. Your artist on the rise is Roddy Rich with his official music video for Die Young. Now we already made it before they're famous on Roddy Rich, and I feel like I was early to the party on this one. Kid's gonna be big. Okay, let's move on to what's trending on Twitter and Instagram. Hashtag Facebook down and hashtag Instagram down. Yes, the elderly and all them Instagram models, they're absolutely going crazy. 
I probably, uh, I'll probably know more about what's happening with this in tomorrow's episode, so be sure to tune into that. Now take off his carpool karaoke appearance. It has sparked a hilarious meme. I love that takeoff always gets the, uh, the meme exposure. Also, a Texas Ranger baseball player, Adrian Belter, well, he's retired from the sport after eight years. Ellen Pompeo, she put on a masterclass on how Caucasians can be better allies. And today is hashtag trans day of remembrance. It's a great day for the trans community. They get to unite, they get to celebrate. Uh, also, they get to remember those they've lost. And finally, wrapping things up with On The Come Up. Now on this new series, I wanna profile more artists that are on the come up. And uh, well, a lot of you guys that are fans of this show, you reach out to me on the daily. You're looking for a little bit of exposure. You wanna get yourself on it before they're famous. And uh, last night we had a guy by the name of CJ or Claude Jr. And he slid into my DMs. This guy's actually an ex NFL player. And now he's like a supermodel and he's boasting 36,000 Instagram followers. So for all the moms that are watching this show, I know you guys hit me up in the last one in the comments. I got lots of mom love. Well, maybe you wanna give this guy a follow as well. Another social media star I wanna to bring to your attention is Australian Instagram model, Case Boone. Yeah, and I'm showing you her for good reason. She's sitting on 143,000 followers and she's been in Maxim, Australian cover girl. She's also a TV host, but here's the reason why everyone's gonna be talking about her sooner than later. She was spotted holding hands with Logan Paul. Two of them were out in Denver and uh, well, that's who's sliding into his DMs. All I'm getting is CJ. I know it's a sad day that I'm shouting out an Instagram model on the day of Instagram down. I'm sorry, you might just have to check that out a little later. Uh, maybe we'll be making it before they're famous on her in the future. Of course, you guys have to let me know who to discuss next. Also, if you have any news stories that you guys want me to cover, be sure to tweet at me. And our Instagram page, McCruddenM, it is always updating you with breaking news happening 24 hours a day. So be sure to uh, sign up for that. My name is Mike McCrudden. That is it for Famous News Episode 5. We'll see you guys in another video. Oh! That was a Monday, but on a Tuesday. It was a rough start.